Hi, I'm Mark and I wanted to show you just how simple it can be to get started with Spring CloudStream when you use start.spring.io and Solace Pub Sub Plus event brokers. So first I'll show you how to stand up a Solace Pub Sub Plus event broker that we'll use to send and receive messages from. Second, we'll use start.spring.io to generate the skeleton for our event-driven microservice, which we'll use Spring CloudStream. So let's get started. I think it should only take two and a half, maybe three minutes. Let's find out. All right, so we'll start by looking at solace.dev, which is our developer portal, and clicking Get Started with Docker. This page shows you how to deploy a PubSub Plus event broker into your local Docker environment. So first is install Docker, which I already have, and second, it gives you a command here to run the Docker container for Solace Standard Edition. So I'll go ahead and paste that in, and the Docker container is now starting up. So while that starts, we'll head over to start.spring.io, which hosts a Spring initializer, and add our dependencies. So we want Solid Pub Sub Plus, and we also want CloudStream. Note that while this adds the Solace dependencies and the dependencies for Spring CloudStream, it's also small enough to say, hey, you want Solace and CloudStream, so I'm going to include the Spring CloudStream starter for Solace, which includes the Solace binder on the class path and allows Spring Boot to recognize it there and use it when the application runs. So we'll go ahead and click Generate. It's going to create this demo.zip file. And so I'm going to go ahead and unzip that in my terminal. And in that file is essentially a Maven project. So if I head over to my IDE and click Import Projects, existing Maven projects, and choose my downloads demo directory, which we just unzipped, and click Finish. It will import this as a Java project into my IDE, and I can go ahead and write my code. So by default, the uh, uh, class name is demo application. So I can come in here and create a Spring Bean. Um, note that while I do this, uh, nothing in here is messaging specific. It's a generic Spring Bean that can be reused as part of other Spring apps. So we'll go ahead and create an uppercase Bean, um, which uses the Java util function dot function um, functional interface, um, and that's where we'll write our logic. <clears throat> and so this consumes an this will consume an event that contains a string payload and output a different event um, that has a string payload. So we want to return v for value, and just to make sure this actually does something, um, we'll print uppercase If that's not a real verb, it is now. <laughs> and then, of course, we want to uppercase it, so we'll say v to uppercase. Add semicolon, and that's it. We've written our first event-driven microservice. But you might say, hey, we didn't actually do anything messaging here, and we haven't really really done much of, at all. So uh, I'm going to explain it a little bit more, and we'll also test it out. So first, because it's a spring bean, and in our palm, if I navigate to the palm, we see that we included the spring cloud starter stream solace and the spring cloud stream framework. Uh, when the spring boot app starts up, it checks the dependencies and said, hey, I have Spring Cloud Stream, and I have access to a binder, um, which is included by the Solace starter. Um, so when I have a class with just a single function, it says, hey, I want to create bindings for this to the messaging system. And so by default, it will name these uppercase in zero um, for the incoming events um, in the first parameter slot, and uppercase out zero for the message that goes out from the function. Uh, you can specify these in more detail in the application.properties or application.yaml file, or however you do your Spring configuration when you have more than one function. This is just a way to get started quickly. And so now, I'm going to go ahead and run this <clears throat> as a Spring Boot app. And so this should start right up, and by now our Solace Docker container should be started, and it should automatically connect using the default credentials, which you could also modify in your application.properties or YAML file. And so we see that it started up, and 
the logs here are super useful in Spring Cloud Stream. It tells me that we, we connected a, a consumer flow um, to a temporary queue. <clears throat> and from a SOLUS best practices perspective, we subscribed that queue to the uppercase in zero topic, which we expected. So to actually test this out, let's head over to the um, sub, Pub Sub Plus Manager, which will be on localhost 8080. Um, so this is accessing the SOLUS Manager, which is in the Docker container that we started. If I click on the default VPN and choose Try Me, from, from this page, I can actually publish or subscribe. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click subscribe. We wanna to subscribe to uppercase out zero, as I mentioned earlier. And then we wanna publish, so we'll connect our publisher to uppercase in zero. And let's say the message content is hello, spring, file stream, exclamation point, and click publish. We'll see that our subscriber actually received a message that says, Hello Spring Cloud Stream in uppercase. And if we head back over to our app, um, we see that the function was executed um, as well, and it printed uppercase in Hello Spring Cloud Stream. So there you go. We developed our first event-driven microservice using Spring Cloud Stream, and it only took me a few minutes. So also of note, I'll, I'll link in the description below a blog that explains this in a little bit more detail, and also a code lab which can kind of give you next steps to do function composition and other things using Spring Cloud Stream. If this video was useful, uh, thank you for watching and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.